this is interesting let's say uh, you are selected to play who wants to be a millionaire and you have a question for say i don't know maybe 1 crore even if it's imaginary i mean i never thought math could help you win 1 crore so let's say you are going to win 1 crore if you answer this correctly and this question is find the square number and there are four numbers given but every number is six digit number and you have no way to identify whether it's a square number or not so let's say you have some lifelines like say 50 50 so if you if you select the 50 50 lifeline two of the four options just vanish and you are just left with two options and you have to select from two remaining options but still you don't really know which could be the answer here and now you have to make a choice whether to like leave the question get away with whatever money that you've won or just try this question out and win 1 crore let's see if we can observe something about the square numbers particularly what number appears at the end in the square numbers and let's see if it can help us answer this question you look at all the options and you notice that every number is a six digit number and you have no way to identify whether it's a perfect square or not just by looking at it but then you start looking at the digit in the units place in each of the number what do you notice so the numbers in the unit place are 3 6 1 and 8 there is an interesting property of the square numbers only specific numbers appear at the units place of a square number and this property says that if there is 2 3 7 and 8 in units place it cannot be a square number so now you definitely know that option a is not the answer and option d is not the answer b or c could be the answer now because you have this 50 50 lifeline you have a chance so that if you can use it for your advantage and if by chance either b or c just gets vanished then you know the answer to this question and you can still win 1 crore so let's take a chance if you decide to use 50 50 lifeline and two options get vanished say option a and option b right and now because these two options are nullified after using 50 50 lifeline you definitely know d is not the answer so the only answer to this question is c which is 7 lakh 72641 and i'll just tell you the square root of this number is 879 i mean i designed this question or a scenario in a way that i could lead you to understand the properties of square numbers but again it's it's so funny to think about the fact that maybe some questions might appear in who wants to be a millionaire and you could still be a millionaire so let's just assume for our happiness that you really could answer this question and you won 1 crore but what if instead of option a or b the system nullified option a and option d was that a full proof method to get the final answer definitely no you you could have used other methods but just by looking at the units place number it was not possible to gauge whether it's a it's a perfect square or not because a perfect square might have the digits 1 4 6 9 9 or 0 at the units place but that's it it doesn't guarantee that if this number appears in the units place the number is a perfect square but why does this property hold just look at the numbers from 1 to 9 so i'll just quickly write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so just remember any given number will end either with these numbers or zero right and when we square that number the digit in the units place is going to be exactly what we see in the square of these numbers so square of 0 is 0 square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is 16 so we want to focus at 6 square of 5 is 25 we want 5 square of 6 is 36 we want to focus on 6 again square of 7 is 49 so we are interested in 9 square of 8 is 64 so that's 4 here and square of 9 is 81 and we only see particular numbers so we see 0 then we see 1 then we have 4 in the square 9 in the square and 6 in the square also 5 and rest of them are already written So zero, one, four, nine, six, and five are the numbers which appear in the units place in any square number. Is any number ending with these numbers? Say, for example, forty-four. 
is not going to be a square always, right? So these are the numbers which appear in the units place of any square number, but any number that ends with these number is not a square. So remember that. Now this is where we also know that only these numbers appear at the end of the squares and that's why the rest of the digits which is 2, 3, 7 and 8 do not appear in the units place of a square number. Let's just notice what happens when we are squaring an odd number. So this is an odd number. We find that the number in the units place is also odd, right? This is a good observation. So when you square an odd number, you find an odd number at the units place. Let's say you, you square even numbers. So what happens to the digits in the units place? So it's 4, 6, 6 again, 4 and 0. You always find an even number in the units place when you are squaring the even numbers. It's also noticeable that by looking at the number in the units place everywhere, you can identify what might be the units place digit in the square root as well, right? So let's say the perfect square given has the digit in the units place as 9, then square root will have the digit in the units place as either 3 or 7 because we saw the square of 3 is 9 and square of 7 is 49. So either of these two numbers might be there in the units place of the square root. What if the perfect square has the digit in the units place as say 6? What might be the units place digit in the square root? We know that the square of 4 is 16 and we saw square of 6 is also 36. Whenever there is 4 in the units place, we'll get the square with units place digit as 6 and same with 36. So 4 or 6 have to be the digits in the units place when we talk about the square root when the perfect square has 6 in the units place. I'll encourage you to go through the squares of all the numbers from 1 to 20 and see if all these properties that we discussed really hold or not.